Hey, what's up guys? This is Debarsh here, Autistic Tech Boy, back here with another video. Today we are going to talk specifically about autism. Autism Acceptance Week is the second week of April, yes. One of my friends, Brian, called me in from the University of California, Berkeley. They have a specific organization known as Spectrum that serves uh, autistic students. He basically asked me to do a video. So he's got a couple of questions for me asking about my experiences with autism. Without further ado, the first question is, what is one thing that I am proud of being an autistic individual? You know, there are a lot of things that I really appreciate about autism. I've said this before, I believe that strongly that God created me this way for a reason. If I had to choose one thing specifically, it would be the amount of tenacity that autistic individuals show despite how they may be treated in society, despite the different circumstances that they have to face. And you know, not all of us face the same circumstances. There are people who have it worse than my case. There are people who have it much better than my case. But the fact is, all of us face social stigma to some extent or another. For me, that included being left out of things, being excluded from things, being mistreated, I would argue, by adults when I was in high school. And, you know, I, I felt like I never really had my intelligence particularly accepted as well to the, to the fullest extent. And I, I also felt unmotivated for that reason. Despite that, despite that, I think as an autistic individual, continuing to persevere, continuing to try to make it through life and to make it through society. There's so many autistic people who are just either mistreated or misunderstood or forgotten about or, you know, not looked at the same way that we look at everyone else. And that can be very demeaning to the autistic individual. That could be uh, such an emotional setback for them, but rather using that emotional setback as a reason to push forward. That's what I'm proud of as an autistic individual. I specifically never let what other people say get to me in the long run, that I like to uh, use that as fuel to move forward. And I believe that so many autistic individuals are like that. They use these circumstances that are given to them. Yeah, they may be unhappy about it in the short run, they may not like how they're treated, but in the long run, these people end up doing amazing things, running businesses, becoming engineers, doctors, artists. You know, there are so many different career paths, different lifestyles that autistic people have led, and I think the society would be a very different place without autism. Next question is, what is one thing that I would like to see society change in the way that they treat autistic individuals or the entire attitude towards autism in general? I would like to see society have more awareness of autism, and I would like to see our schools particularly protect autistic individuals. Um, when I say that, I don't mean like guard them everywhere they go or whatnot. I feel that, at least at least in, in my high school when I, when I went there, I really felt that I was not heard. I felt that my emotions did not matter nearly as much as the people around me. I went to a school uh, that had a magnet program in it and I was friends with a lot of the people within the magnet program. These people never really treated me well, but I wanted to, you know, really befriend them and be a part of their lives and whatnot, but they never really treated me well. And because of that, I would often react and I would often become emotionally agitated. Uh, I would never get physical or anything like that, but I would yell. Every time that I would yell, I would get in trouble and the other side would look as if they were the victim and they were treated that way by the administration. So I think what I would want changed is we need to encourage other people to accept autistic individuals. We need to encourage other people to invite autistic individuals to things. We need to really encourage other individuals to show love towards autistic individuals. That means accepting people who are different from you. And once you get to do that, once you try to know the other person, that's when things will start changing, I think. People who have autism will have a better chance at seeing other people, uh, so-called neurotypical people. They will get a better understanding of the perspectives of 
neurotypical individuals and try to accommodate those as well. We need to teach students more about autism. We need to teach them about how to treat autistic individuals and we need to encourage them to be inclusive, not just in school programs, but also outside of school, you know, on hangouts. Go grab lunch with an autistic person or whatnot. We need to encourage students to be more inclusive, not just inside of school, but also outside of school. And that is what I think society needs to work on. Because when we fix our, the problem within our school system, I think we're going to start seeing more students coming out educated about autism. And all of these changes within the school system are going to flow throughout our society. Finally, my friend Brian is making a poem about autism. For that, he wants me to provide one word. And I think the one word that describes autistic individuals very well is good-natured. This word is actually very much neglected within our society when they come to dis uh, discussing autism. The overall image of autism is someone who's having a meltdown, who's angry, who is really pretty much villainized by society. What we don't understand is underneath all of that anger, underneath all of that pain is sheer emotion and that there is such a capacity to love I have met so many autistic individuals that are so kind, that are so honest, but they're also very sensitive. We're sensitive to different things. Some of us are sensitive to noise. I am sensitive to being left out. I'm sensitive to being rejected, basically. We're all sensitive about different things, but that doesn't make us bad people. If anything, that means we are good people who have emotions that care deeply about others and are prone to having our emotions hurt because of the way we feel. That's going to be it for this one, guys. Tell me down in the comments below, what do you love about autism? Just let me know down in the comments below. This has been your Autistic Tech Boy, signing off.